Now it is uh, very clear that uh, Christ suffers for our life. And today we are still in the Lenten season and it is appropriate to meditate on the suffering Jesus was going through. If we put all our trust, optimum trust in God, it is for me, for us. You will be released. You will feel released. And though the conspiracy, the chief priest and the office bearers, they made against Jesus. It brings salvation unto the hearers. Now the title, it is mentioned, the conspiracy against Jesus, the plot to kill Jesus. This is the almost holy week we have come. <clears throat> and coming Sunday, the Palm Sunday, Jesus is uh, going to Jerusalem, towards Jerusalem as a triumphant entry, triumphant entry. And uh, just before that, what, what had occurred in the history, it is recorded in the Bible and we are meditating on it. The conspiracy against Jesus. It happened just after Jesus performed a miracle. She, Jesus brought a person, a dead person, dead Lazarus into life. And on that basis, there were several commotions and several other things happened. The first verse says, Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary on account of the Lazarus. Lazarus, the dead Lazarus has been raised. Jesus raised him up and he was there. The, dead, the Lazarus who was raised from the dead was there in the meeting. Jesus was there and many of the Jews were there. They were in the Mary's house. The visitation was going on. Many had seen what Jesus did. What Jesus did? He raised the dead. He raised Lazarus from the dead. And on that account, many people gathered there in Mary's house. And many people had seen what Jesus did, the miracle. And many believed in Jesus. We have to underline many believed in Jesus. In, it means there are some yet to believe. And the next verse 46 starts from, but many, there are the category of people, one category, believe, believers category, another category, always finding fault on Jesus. And here one category believed Jesus, but some of them went to the Pharisees and the chief priest. See this, um, Jesus does something. Above Jesus, there was no one. But here, these people, they have pictured some people in the society were above Jesus, as if they, are, they were above Jesus. Now, on that ground, they went and betrayed Jesus to the chief priest and the Pharisees. They told them what Jesus had done. How did they say? Jesus raised the dead. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. It's a miracle. Jesus gave life to the lifeless. The thing is, Jesus came into this world to give abundant life. And Jesus raised the dead person. And the bodily dead, the physically dead, spiritually dead person can be raised by God. And Jesus rose this person. He raised his person. And uh, they had called a meeting. The chief priests, the Pharisees, they called a meeting. In the Sanhedrin, it was going on. The council meeting was going on. Concerning the conspiracy against Jesus. What did he do? Is there any wrong Jesus committed? Jesus gave the first life. He, he, he uh, permitted the dead person to come into life because... He saw the miseries of the dependents and he just made a full stop over their suffering and he was raised accordingly. And now it has been a blame on Jesus' part. 
so the so they say pharisees and the chief uh, priest and several others what are you accomplishing they themselves said what are you accomplishing what for we are here on this earth to accomplish without the help of jesus nothing is to be accomplished and these people because of the lack of understanding on the scripture they just bombarded and they played with words they manipulated the words they manipulated the god given resources and they took advantage of the least bothered people now they say what what are we accomplishing we are given post we are given places in the sanhedrin and we are supposed to control everything because there is nobody beyond our status like that they were looking for the earthly realm they have completely forgotten the divine blessings and they say they asked here is this man performing many signs see we are here on this earth to make a difference our life should speak something our words should speak something our our actions should do something for the glory of god when we look at the structure and systems of the society there are many things to change and the system doesn't permit the people to change the people who are in the leadership they will not allow the system to be changed so now here jesus is a person he has come to update the system he has come to transform the system of the society he has come to liberate the people he has come to rehabilitate the people who are in need of god's providence and here is the man performing many miracles on that ground jesus performed the miracles and according to acts 10:38 it is written god the father anointed jesus of nazareth and he was able to move around, he was moving around to do good and he delivered the people he um, helped the people to come out of the satanic influences he delivered the people from the clutches of evil so by which he was doing good and these people they did not uh, tolerate what jesus was doing let this man be under bondages let the society let the let the meager income group people let the marginalized people let the suppressed people depressed people let them be there for a long time so they don't have the concern on the well being of the society of the people whereas jesus was not like that he came to make a difference in the midst of the heathen community that there is god and he performed the miracles and these people they were not able to tolerate because they were very worried about their own status their own position in the sanhedrin and they don't want to give up that post they don't want allow to come and take up the responsibility now here it, it is this it is here written here is this man performing many signs the main theme of the word is written here 48 if we let jesus go on like this who are they to say like that if we let jesus go on like this everyone will believe in jesus everyone has to believe jesus that's how the john 316 and these people they were against the christian values they were always against god and they wanted to influence their own lifestyle in the midst of the people so they said if we if we let him let jesus go on like this everyone will believe in jesus what's wrong in that the person does good and the society will flourish and let the people enjoy and these people they did not tolerate the good things done by jesus and they say if we let him who are they to let jesus do to go on doing things they they are the finite being and they were um, looking the infinite being with a taunting sensation and he they say if we let jesus go on like this everyone will believe in jesus and the romans will come and take away both our place both our place our temple and our nation they did not worry about good things they were 
always for the evil and wicked things. For that reason only they were always resisting Jesus. And now, then one of them named the Caiaphas. That was the problem which was going on. If we allow Jesus to go on performing miracles, the Roman Empire, the emperor will come and seize us, our responsibility. And we, will, we may lose our status. We may lose our positions. We may lose our place. And we may lose our worship place. And ultimately, they will take away our nation. And they, don't, they did not bother about Jesus and the salvation. And the Caiaphas, one of the high priests of that year, spoke up. You know nothing at all. See, he, he, he portrayed himself about Jesus. He is the chief priest. What for? He has to offer sacrifices for the well-being of the people of God. And whereas he is taking upper hand on Jesus. You, you know nothing. I know everything. One person has to die. Let's prefer Jesus to die for the entire community by which the sins will be abolished. So he just uh, gave the, his counsel and advice. That is better for you than one man die for the people than the whole nation perish. The whole nation is getting ready to be perished because of the sins. And he is telling it is not by his own person. It is written earlier in the uh, prophecies. So he quoted that one. And uh, verse 53 so from they, from that day on, they plotted to take they plotted to take Jesus' life. See the situation. He was doing good, redeeming the people from the clutches of evil. He is healing the sick and proclaiming the God's comfort unto the people and delivering the people from the sins and trespasses and giving life to the dead people, physically, spiritually dead people. And there were many signs and wonders Jesus performed for the betterment of the people. And he gave complete life for the people. And these people who are holding the positions for many years, they were not able to tolerate with Jesus. So they have made a decision to kill Jesus. To, they already made a conspiracy against Jesus. Now the time has come to the to kill Jesus. They have gone to that extent to kill Jesus. And now what's that? What's happening? Verse 55, it was almost a time for the Jewish Passover. It is almost a time for the Palm Sunday. Jesus is going to be portrayed as the king of Jews, riding on a donkey and called, going towards Jerusalem for the crucifixion. It is not hoisting the flag of victory, something like that. He is going to be crucified. He is going to suffer. He is going to give his life on the cross. And the terrible time has come. And it is written, almost the time for the Jewish Passover. For every festival, the godly people are suffering. The festival, festival season... The godly people, they humble themselves and look unto God, look unto the cross, and whereby they will have the mercy. We all in need of God's mercy. And they kept looking for Jesus. Verse 56, it is written, they kept looking for Jesus. They keep on looking for Jesus. What for? Now we are looking for Jesus. To provide some help, some physical, spiritual help, moral, ethical help. And every now and then, time and again, we come to the presence of the Lord for help and for the life. We don't know what, what the trap is set before us. Well, we go for work, well, we do our aside duties and responsibilities. Anything can happen to anyone. And when we look at the scenario, Sri Lanka, in the down through the years, they have massacred thousands of lives, not thousands of lives, crores of lives. They have massacred, they have killed. And now the whole family, they were enjoying in the cost, in the at the cost of the 
nation, Sri Lanka. Now their condition is difficult. God can make the things upside down within a moment. For that reason, we need God's help. So these people, there are, we, we come closer to God. We look unto God for each and every moment of our lives. In each and every moment of our lives. For our well-being, for our health, for our identity. So here these people, they were looking for Jesus. Why? What for they were looking for Jesus? To kill Jesus. Even the birth of Jesus, we see the king. He said to the three people, wise men, you just go and see the baby Jesus and report back to me so that I can also come and see the newborn baby Jesus, who is the king of Jews. So the, the, the kind of wicked scheme, these people also, they are in search of Jesus. They were looking for Jesus. There are two categories of people. There are some people, they earnestly look for Jesus, for his mercy. And some people, they were looking for Jesus, for something which is abominable in the sight of God. And the, the end of the verse, it is written. So they might arrest Jesus. What for they were looking for? They want to see Jesus arrested. So on what ground? Jesus does, Jesus did good things to the society. He opened the blind man's eyes. He gave life to the people. 13, 38 years old man in the Padesta. He gave his life. The invalid people, they were benefited. And uh, these people, they cannot point out the mistakes committed by Jesus. Jesus openly challenged. If you can find any sin in me, tell me. Nobody was there to point out the mistakes committed by Jesus. So now they were looking for Jesus to be arrested and so that they might arrest Jesus. So the time has come. The triumphant entry is fast approaching. Coming Sunday, today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Jesus enters into Jerusalem as the king of Jews, riding on a donkey. And he will teach many lessons to the followers. And then the Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter is awaited. Let's look to the Lord. These are the days of grace. Let's ask pardon for our sins and trespasses. Ask God to take control over us. Take full control over us. Let's look for the mercy of God. If we seek mercy, the mercy will be given to our children. If we look unto God, God will have mercy on us. Let's uh, practice it. Get up early morning and ask God, Lord, ha have mercy on me. Bless our children. Use us, Lord, for the extension of thy kingdom. At least help me, Lord, to be useful to some people today. Because you have given life and we know the suffering you had gone through on the cross during crucifixion. Lord, help me, Lord, to be the partakers of thy suffering and enable me, Lord, to be victorious all the time. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Loving Father, we thank you, Master, for this time of season, the London season. Help us to introspect ourselves, O oh Master. Bless all the dear ones. They may have many expectations, anxieties, and worries. Take away all their worries, O Master. Let them be free from every burden, O Father. Take full control over every one of us. Send us, Lord, with thy heavenly benediction. As the group of people, they were looking unto thee to have mercy, to receive mercy. Father God, help us to identify ourselves with that group, O Master. At the end, help us, Lord, to be honored. Let our identity be seen in you, O Master, continuously. Bless one and all. Thank you, Master, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.